I'm Tilly Smith and I'm co-owner of this lovely herd of reindeer here in the Cairngorms. I've been with the reindeer now for 38 years, which is quite a long time, so I've got a love for reindeer and I've seen many reindeer come and go over my time. So the reindeer here today are part of a Cairngorms National Park. It's a large area which takes in the massif of the Cairngorms as well as actually the outlying towns and villages like Aviemore which we see down there. The reindeer actually came here long before the National Park did. The National Park has been established for 20 years and it was actually a Swedish man, a Swedish reindeer herder who recognised these mountains as really similar to his homeland in Swedish Lapland and he begged the question, why are there no reindeer here? And so in 1952, himself, Mikkel Utzi, and his wife, Dr. Lindgren, brought the embryonic herd that is now what we have here today. And I have been lucky enough to be involved in this herd since 1981. Reindeer are an arctic animal. They live in the arctic and subarctic of the northern hemisphere and so they need to be really well adapted for the cold. If you just touch their coats they're so soft. I describe it as a high quality carpet and they're in summer coat at the moment but in winter coat it is so well insulating that they don't even melt the snow that they lie on. So it's all about keeping warm. Not only do they have a lovely thick coat, but their coat actually starts at the tips of their noses. So they've actually got hairy noses, and that hair goes right across the body and even to the underside of their feet. So there is no baldness on a reindeer anywhere. Another way of keeping warm. They've got very large, flat feet. And these feet are obviously for walking on snow, for digging through the snow, they don't sink through the snow, but also actually for walking on boggy, wet ground. And I suppose the final feature that everybody sort of is intrigued in with reindeer is their antlers. And here today, as we look across the herd, everybody virtually has got a set of antlers. And that's because in reindeer, not only do the males grow antlers, but the females grow antlers as well. So standing next to me here is Crowdy, he's a male reindeer and he has grown these antlers since around about March, April this year. They're covered in velvet while they're growing. On a sort of international scale, we have reindeer and we have caribou. They are the same animal, but the caribou live in North America and the reindeer live in Russia, Scandinavia and um, basically the Old World. Many, many reindeer have been domesticated in the Old World by people and these are part of those, that domesticated herd. And between domesticated reindeer in the Old World and caribou in the New World, America and North Canada, there's about five million reindeer. They occupy a huge area of the Northern Hemisphere, right across the globe. There are areas where global warming and climate change is having an effect. For example, they had a case in Svalbard over last winter where the snow began to melt, then it froze, and then snow fell again. And when that happens, that is starvation conditions for reindeer they can dig through the soft snow but they can't break the ice and so they had quite a, a high mortality rate amongst the Svalbard reindeer last winter. There are also other issues not just climate change there's mining there's logging there's fuel extraction there's gas extraction and these are all infrastructures that disturb reindeer and certainly the woodland populations of reindeer and caribou are on the decline there's no doubt about that but as, a, as an animal, as a species, numbers-wise, they're certainly not endangered. 